Hey guys, welcome back to the freaking channel. Mm, maybe you've been seeing bees a lot or sunflowers, but anyways, for this little symbol right here, um, we're gonna do another pick a card. So it's gonna be three groups as per usual. I'm gonna try not to make this very long, but let's get the, the vision cards out. What's for group one? What's the vision card for group one? Tears of joy and sadness. Group two, thank you. Listening to wisdom. Group three, what's the vision card for group three? And meditation for creativity. So group one, group two, or group three. As per usual, if you're drawn to all three groups or more than one group, that's fine as well. If none of the groups really have anything that really drives for you or makes sense or resonates, click off and go into the other pick a cards that I have listed, which is a playlist. There's a playlist on my YouTube channel. We'll get one more card to help you decide which group, okay? We'll try not to over explain things too. We've got suppression here coming out for group one under tears of joy and sadness. A breakthrough under coming through for listening to wisdom. And for group three, we have we are the world for med meditation for creativity. So I feel like this one comes to compromise here. Some sort of compromise, but anyways, I shall see you with group one. All right, group one. So I feel like there's been something here, something that's been suppressed for a long time, something that's been holding you back, tying you down, holding you down, okay? Something that was previously keeping you in a state of misery, really. You know, this could be any number of things. We're not going into details on that, right? If, if this is your group, you know exactly what they're talking about here. We have tears of joy and tears of sadness. So maybe something that breaks you, but something really good for somebody else. Or something that breaks somebody else, but potentially is really, really good for you. <coughs> and it's like seeing the sides of, seeing the coin, um, uh, something about a coin. Flipping both sides of the coin. Getting both sides of the coin. Up and down, back and forth. Wishy-washy, hot, cold. That's definitely an emotional thing here. And this could be what you're releasing as well. We're going to go ahead and keep this here. Um, <clears throat> I, s I looked at this deck to clarify. So let's get more for you, okay? Group one. She's got a beautiful lotus flower in her hair. There's a braid in her hair. So something about braids, lotus flowers. A white kitty cat. Thank you, spirit. Past lives. All right, so this has followed you over from a past life. Maybe you, maybe you're like, I don't even know what the fuck this is. I feel the sense of whatever, and I haven't been able to shake it or release it. There's something here that's kept you tied, and this could even be a person from a past life, a situation, a karmic cycle happening between you and a person, um, friend, coworker, whatever you know, significant other. These are lizards here, and you know what just came to mind was the, the lizard on... God, what is that cartoon? Oh man, I can't even think of it. I see it. This is, It's like his evil lizard. <laughs> what was her name? Diana? I don't remember. Dang it. But anyway, something about cartoons here. So... Anyways, I feel like maybe this wasn't the greatest, obviously, with the suppression here. Let's see what else. What else can you give us, Spirit, for Group 1? Any more cards here for Group 1 for clarity on the situation? Mind, control, guilt. I heard the word shame as well. It's a lot of low vibe energy, group one. I'm I'm really sorry you're you're going through like a tough situation. Something that it's just really hard for you com to communicate. You you can you're feeling it for sure, but you just don't know how to communicate what you're feeling. You don't even know how to put it into words. So we're gonna get a different deck out for more clarity. Um, let's go to this one, shall we, Spirit? <sighs> let's remember to breathe, shall we? Mm. 
something just tried to enter my auric field. Also, my past lives deck just came to mind, so now at least this is one that's good and shuffled. So let's get out the past lives decks. What else can you tell us, spirit, about the situation? For one, how do we release it? What's the suggestion on releasing or going, getting through it? Pull your head out your ass and walk barefoot through the grass. So getting outside and getting your toes in the dirt. Like, don't just sit on your porch, on your wooden or concrete porch, staring at your phone. You've got to put that phone down and get into, get into Mother Nature. Get Put your feet in the grass. Go sit next to a tree. Lean up against a tree. Hug a tree. Kiss a tree. Do something. It's like this need to put the de devices down, though, because even though we sit outside, yeah, we can sit outside all day, but if you're bare feet, a part of you is not touching any part of Mother Earth. It's not essentially fully, fully grounding you. There's some sort of guilty conscience you have here over something. Some sort of suppression around guilt, and you might build a sense of guilt around somebody for some reason. You can't, okay, so we were talking earlier about something that would really be great or happy for somebody could break you, or something that could potentially really break somebody would be really happy for you. So there's a sense of maybe you're not wanting to uh, do something or go towards something that could really fill your cup up. Because you're afraid of how it might make others feel around you. Well, I might take their position. I might make them upset. It might make, you know, I, I'll, I'd feel really guilty if I, if I took something from them. But there's this sense. <clears throat> they'll be okay. And it's not, like, usually our assumptions are wrong, right? We've got father here, but I'm going to put that back. Um, our assumptions usually are wrong. It's not what you think. Okay, you could, okay, so this person, wow, this is full on past life saying. So you would or you literally orphan this person in a past life. You the reason why you feel the need to tiptoe around them or something is because you did. You completely abandoned them. You completely neglected them. And, and okay, look, it's a it's a past life thing though. Seven three seven was on the timer. Seven three seven and eight three eight. Excuse me. What about the mind card here? Phobias. Yep. What about control? Order, control, controlling the guilt, controlling the conscience, controlling your mind. Love life. Authority figures, mother. We're going to put those back, though. No, nope. love life's supposed to come out. Too much control in a love life situation. Too much control in romance. Maybe this person is, you feel like they're trying to control you or they're very controlling of you. <clears throat> Ships. Guilt. Lessons and blessings. Shoot, you might have pushed this person overboard. There's lessons in... There's blessings in the lessons. There's hidden blessings that you can't see yet that was in this situation. Excuse me. I see all these ropes though here and I'm going back to the ship here. They have a lot of rope on ships, right? You could have been abandoned. Oh, okay. So there's a dealing with fear of an abandon abandonment issues, okay? But fear of abandonment also and you, you could have literally been abandoned by this person or they you abandoned them in a past life we've got egypt on the bottom you're connected to this person through ancient egypt you already know this these ties that you have baby greco roman uh, actually you've been with this person several times in past lives now for some of you it's not necessarily romance It's not necessarily romance, but let's get more on the situation. Like pulling an overall card here. Oppression, suppression. Domestic, religious, social, oppressor. 
Okay, so the trauma in the past life was a witness or bystander. You could have witnessed this person being, meeting their demise, like going overboard. And this, maybe you're being fearful about death right now too. And here, you are going to die of old age in this lifetime, okay? And your lesson behind this is finding peace. Finding peace amongst not being able to control the mind finding peace within your mind and controlling the mind. Sorry. <coughs> the love is LGBT. The faith is secret. <coughs> you kept your faith secret, your religion or your spiritual construct. This could be stemming over into this lifetime too. You're maybe you're a little fearful about letting other people know what you believe in and why. Okay. Another one? <clears throat> Extraterrestrial, close encounter, off-worlder, early earth dweller, watcher or guardian. Okay, so what I'm gathering from this is you do, you, maybe you felt like you were being watched your whole life, but you are, you are being watched by your galactic family. And look at this over here. There's some 11-11 on the timers that look over, and I'm saying this with two people here. You've had some sort of um, extraterrestrial close encounter experience when you were younger with a sibling or another person, a friend of some sorts. Your, you, your death was by fire. Crucifixion, I heard crucified. But then of course with fire, it's, it's at the stake, right? Identity sibling. Agnostic or atheist. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot I like to do past live reads. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> I so forgot. So we're just just thought of a new title for this mother. Okay. All right. So let's go more into this on this spell over here on these two cards, Seven of Wands, battling. The lessons behind it, right? Battling, having a hard time seeing the blessings behind all the fuckery that has happened. Yeah, it's <laughs> this person. They or like they they abandoned you. They picked up. They picked. They took what they could, and they they walked out on you. In this past life connection here, what's with the mind and phobias? It's all in your mind. Also, it's a phobia from. Uh, a past life. Okay, so here's, we've got ship over here. So if you're scared to go out on a boat, but you don't have any water trauma here in this life, there's no, there hasn't been any significant event to give you a fear of being on a boat. Like you didn't, you know, fall off a boat. You didn't crash a boat. This is stemming from your past life. Okay, that's, that's why, because you did something happen. It could have even been the Titanic that you were on. So pay attention to those signs that you're seeing and those ideas that you're getting because pretty soon you're going to you're going to put all the puzzle pieces together. It's all going to fit. It's like this and this by what here not let you know. This is what it means by calling back fragments of your soul too because there's things that are being um, activated within you and pieces are starting to come back to you, memories and such. Too many cards, but I have the Queen of Pentacles and the 3 of Cups. Fear of being too proud, fear of being seeming too proud of yourself and or <clears throat> a boastful. I heard the word boastful. Can we get more clear guidance with the mind and phobias around this? What is the mind and phobias? I feel like that's what wants to come out though. So whatever this is, you're you're moving to calmer waters here. Again with the boats. Boats are very significant. What about control and love life? Can we get a little more of that? Maybe that's why maybe okay, possessiveness. Maybe that's why this person has been possessive of you or you of them though, because you lot you lost them like in the blink of an eye in a past life. And maybe that's maybe that's the stemming behind some people who are very seemingly controlling and manipulate or controlling and obsessive is that they just they're going about it, you know, their ego is deciding to go about it the wrong way in this lifetime, but uh, they just, they, they just lost you very quickly in a past life viewer. 
group one. Look, the Three of Cups came out with the love life. Monotony? Monotony? Is that a word? <laughs> Monogamous? Monogamy? What in the hell is going on here? Hold on. All right, so that is the practice of being married to one person at a time, but we've got the Three of Cups. So you could have been blindly, you know, jaded in a past life. They could have, uh, there could have been a third party. Maybe it was open, maybe it was extended. But uh, may, if there's a fear of you, uh, fear of somebody cheating in this lifetime, but there's no reason, like you have no reason. You haven't been in a situation like that before. They never did it before. And people previously before this person didn't do it before. You never really been in it, but there's a fear behind it. It's because it's coming from a past life. This one flipped over and then flipped back. So we've got the Seven of Cups coming out. <clears throat> seven, seven. Seven lives. Seven colors of the rainbow. Seven chakras. Seven main chakras. There's actually like a hundred chakras within us and around us. There are seven main ones within us though. Could be fear of being alone too here. Having patience though. Something, whatever you're needing to do, they're saying have patience in the matter. <clears throat> Let me get some more water in me here. 8.48 on the clock over here. <clears throat> Excuse my slurping. All right. The Holocaust and World War. An allied defender, Hiroshima, oppression, where's that word again? We had oppression and suppression, right? I don't know, it says faith, fanatical, I don't, I don't know what that means. Spinster for love, an identity as a lover, so you could have had somebody on the side. Or maybe you have a fear of cheating on your your significant other, but there's never really actually been anything. Maybe it's a fear that, oh my God, if, if somebody ever flirts with me, that's it. Like, I don't know if I can control myself, you know, or something, but like, I feel this sense of spirit laughing, like you, you, you'll do just fine. It's okay. You have nothing to worry about. And what's reminding me here, this little strand here kind of reminds me of the DNA strand. So this could be ancestral too, coming in could be a cycle or a pattern that you're healing enabler <clears throat> abusive relationship abused abuser rescuer so that's another thing if you're fearful of being abused but you've never actually had any abuse in this lifetime then um it's from a past life <clears throat> express yourself through creativity. Praise his name with dancing accompanied by a tambourine and harp. <clears throat> so getting outside, getting into nature, or there's lots of grounding acts you can do. Yoga is grounding. It's meditative as well. Okay. These both go hand in hand, right? Dancing, painting, um, some sort of artistic creative hobby, retreat from the outside world. <clears throat> I hope this is finding something uh you found something helpful within this okay so whatever phobia this is it's not necessarily stemming from this life this current life it's from a past life that's coming over if you're not already seeing <clears throat> rainbows the rainbow is a sign for you it's a significant indicator that it's past past life and the ancestors and the guardians and everyone are around you There's two that popped over, so we'll take those two. <clears throat> Our Lady of Guadalupe, the Empress of Protection. I am safe and divinely protected. I am, I am held in love at all times. So there's no, there's no reason to fear or worry, group one. 
because you are held in love and you are divinely protected at all times and then we have ooh the white buffalo calf woman the prophet the prophetess of the sacred way my heart is a compass the path of love is true abundance the path of love is true abundance i hope this helped you group one if it did hit that like and subscribe button it's greatly appreciated that you helped the channel grow comment below if you'd like if it resonated or not and we shall see you in the next one maybe you if it's not thoroughly driving with you go to group two or three all right group two notice that timestamp at 2020 so twos are significant for you two 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 february 2nd i just saw also february 2nd and february 22nd that could have been the catapult the the day uh to start your activation and initiation journeys and your spiritual gifts which kind of makes sense with the listening to wisdom and the breakthrough here <clears throat> so you're, you've had this tremendous breakthrough and you're heeding that call but you're also like paying attention now to those left-handed things that come out of nowhere for you crows could be a significance for you and these also like these things shattering around them though are reminding me like a card deck like hearts clubs diamonds right something did you know you could read tarot with a regular card deck oh <laughs> you guys we've got nine of cups which is like a wish fulfillment wish granted because you listened wisely oh look knight of cups somebody's bringing you an offer <clears throat> an offer of love group two the two of pentacles something coming into balance finances coming into balance some material aspect and then we have the star again with the wish coming in you've got wish wish here as above, so below, right? I like this for you. I think there's one more, though. One more card for group two. Spirit, is there one more card? Could be learning patience, because it's taking a minute for the card to come out, right? maybe that's a significant breakthrough i'm gonna open that here in a second oh my god the sun you got the star the sun this is just really good energy i'm getting goosebumps you're birthing something into creation you're <laughs> it's like alignment of mind body soul here something coming into alignment a heart alignment and what's over this the hierophant with breakthrough the hierophant this is a, a very spiritual card, but look in the background. Diamonds. There's a diamond shape here. We mentioned diamonds earlier, so. That's interesting. The sunflowers here again. We mentioned sunflowers in the very first intro. I need more water. Maybe you do too. The universe will be sending you sunflowers and the heart shape a lot too. Could be dealing with a, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You're going to have your cake and eat it too. What's on the cut? Look at this. The King of Pentacles and the King of Cups on the cut. Two, three, four, four on the cot timer when I look over. Very stable. And this could be you and your masculine energy, too. Group one was very different. They were more of a past lives energy. Something from a past life they were dealing with. I'm getting a hot flash. Ooh, doggy. <coughs> They come on hard and fast. Sometimes they're not so bad. I think it depends on what kind of month is going on. But here lately, they've been super, super hardcore. And like, I literally break out into a sweat. That's never happened before. So there's a shark. <laughs> there's a shark below him. And someone's 
someone for you, okay, if this is your divine counterpart or someone you're in union with, they're coming out uh, finally of a uh, critical situation that they've been dealing with. The source, <laughs> that's basically the Hierophant card here too. Success is assured, maturity, maturing through something, maturing through being alone, transformation, understanding, sharing, celebration, caring, sharing is caring, right? Sharing your abundance with others, wanting to work with Oh, okay. The World Health Organization. Something to do with the world. This is a spiritual transformation for you, though. There's Phoenix Rising here. <laughs> There's a cycle and a pattern that was broken. That's that breakthrough. <laughs> so now you're becoming more in tune with your higher self. Spirit, come in and help us, please. You're not a lost cause. Don't give up on them. So you weren't you weren't a lost cause. And though you felt pulled back sometimes, you still kept trudging. You still kept going through. You still kept pushing. You still got up every morning and did the damn thing, right? With the sword here, there was some kind of truth and understanding that set you free. Look at this bird coming out. This bird is being set free. Uh, 111 here and also the number 3 Spirit what would you like to light group to know the light always catching the light always seeing the light you could be seeing like flame symbols or candle symbols too The truth shall shut you free. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What else can you give us, Spirit? What else does Group 2? What can they know about their situation? chariot elephants here so there's forward movement from this okay so I'm, I'm picking up the twos here too there's two elephants there's two people here there's two pentacles here three people here three people here oh crikey so uh, these people are dancing in the sun and these people are dancing in the rain so no matter what you're choosing to stay happy and celebrating through thick and thin through the stormy days and the bright sunny days you're finding reason in everything to be grateful group two i feel you on that and now your abundance is coming to you because you realize your worth but you also realize the abundance around you and how great everything really is and how truly taken care of you truly are that er it, no matter what happens everything always ends up working out somehow and those things that didn't work out and those things that ended for you well they just weren't meant for you at that time and there's this new understanding because you're listening to that wisdom within yourself about it look at that the six of wands i thought it was the two of wands i thought it was another number two for a second victory and rebirth coming out over transformation again with the lotus flowers coming in here the Six of Pentacles, we've got Six Six, redistribution. So again, sharing an abundance of something, something that you had, and this looks like it says water. So, you know, like sometimes we come across these people who wanna give us a whole lot of things for free or something. So maybe you're redistributing something or you realize that you have more than what you need. You have an abundance of, you know, handbags or summer bags or summer hats and you don't really wear them and there's not enough days in the month for you to wear each one every day so you're just like 
regardless of it is you're you're clearing out the old to make room for the new we've got disaster relief here too so there's just this big sense of wanting to help having a new understanding but knowing that even you know even if you don't have much too you're still going to try to help other people i heard the word again lost cause wanting to help those who seem like a lost cause or wanting to help the people maybe there's somebody close to you also who has someone that they're dealing with that they deem a lost cause so you're helping that person to see on a different perspective that they're not really and it's you know it's not okay to deem somebody that right that's their perspective but that person probably doesn't feel like a lost cause and we've got judgment here yeah like that's literally judging somebody if you're deeming them as a lost cause right one way knowing that there are several different ways around a situation um, to escape and she's out here away from the city what's the next card they want the empress <laughs> truth on the next with the eight of wands flowers here again harmony and foresight you have the key and you've had it all along you have the answers and you've had them all along and there are days when we're super open and everything makes sense and we're in the flow of it and everything is fine. But then there are those days where we're stuck in our head a lot and we're having a hard time and we're very emotional or whatever. But no matter what, those cycles pass, those days pass. No matter how long it is, we still have like the sun coming after the storm. So the number 66 and number two here for sure. Oh yeah, that's a number two too, judgment. So I also feel called, I said I wasn't gonna make these very long, but you know, my ego pushes and I don't even realize that it went over with group one. But we're gonna do, I feel like this card wants to come out already. This, <laughs> that came out for group one. <laughs> so let's see what else. Um, don't disregard any messages you read in the cards too. Sometimes I, I, I'm a reader, but I still watch other people's tarot reads for myself to help me with a situation or whatever, or like what's coming for me in the next three to five days or whatever. And I will read the cards completely different than the message that they're giving me. Sometimes I just need to see those cards. So, so I feel like for somebody here, that's something that's potentially what is going on here. I know you're not reading the cards that way because that's what you how you want to read them. That's like the literal message coming through. So getting grounded, walk, pull your head out your ass and walk barefoot through the grass. It's very essential at this time. I don't know, they want you to treat yourself to something you wouldn't normally do for you, okay? This is coming straight from source. Do something you wouldn't normally do. You are a star seed. Star seed light worker, you're ascending in the star seed process. You're waking up to it. You're waking up to those ideas. Okay. Your ancestors are helping you. Your crown chakra is opening. And it's okay to do nothing and to be lazy. Anything else here? Okay, that's it. Lay off caffeine for a little bit. It could be feeling your anxiety or cut back and see through the lens of love. I feel like somebody here could have already been doing this. So group two, this is what I have for you. I hope it helped. I hope it resonated. Let me get this deck over here. The three of cups. Look at that. You've got a lot of joyful celebration. The three, three, threes here. Three significant people around you. Oh, mind, body, and soul again, though. Um, who is the, the mother, the maiden, and the crone? Okay. Mm, that's you that's that's what's going through for you this is your sin if you're like mm, i don't i don't know people i don't hang out with people a lot of us in paths intuitive healers guides star seeds light workers we we tend, tend tend to stick to ourselves right and our circles are small so for a lot of you this is resonating for myself like that's coming into balance something coming into alignment okay i hope it helped i hope it resonated if it did hit that like and subscribe button for me greatly appreciate you help me grow i'll see you next time group three i feel like you're the group that is in the know about new earth and old earth and shifting into 5d and 4d um because i i see this and i was like oh dreaming a new world into being and if the desert if that doesn't really make sense to you but you were really drawn to group three or the number three 
or the timestamp on number three because um, I believe it, there's 414 in there and actually whenever I wrote down 3414 the time was 909. So this is this will be futuristic for you then, okay? Wh whoever this is, you know. And if it is, is making sense, let me know below, please. Alright, well let's get some more clarity cards, Spirit, for group three. I was just thinking of group one. I was going to say group one went kind of long, but they got that same card. Something, some sort of creative endeavor that you've been suppressing though, or ideas that you've been suppressing. So group two was about listening to that inner thing, right? Yeah. Having these visions. That's what I was just about to say was having a vision of something that you could create for the world or something that's going to happen for the world, uh, envisioning a new world, envisioning your own world. perfectly almost past lives again group one got that card as well so I highly suggest you go to group one as well maybe you're coming from group one we've got 10 10 here as well which break down to a number one and there's ones on these too so so you're stepping into something letting go metamorphosis I just heard letting go of some sort of uh, something that was weighing on your conscience. It could be around politics too. This, this card came out earlier as well. An understanding around, you know, this, this isn't what makes the world go round. This isn't what matters. What's going on in the world with that situation. And compromise, ripeness, harmony. All right, spirit. We are the one. Isn't that a song? Is that a song? Something coming into harmony, though. Oh, I just saw somebody biting their lips, so... To me, I don't know what the actual definition of suppression is, but I feel like somebody here could be suppressing ideas, suppressing opinions, or something. Don't be afraid to express it. There's creative talent here for you. The two of wands, she's holding the earth. He's holding the earth. Earth, 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 earth. <laughs> so, yeah, there's new creation here with the three of pentacles. Someone who's coming towards you to help you to have an understanding. Somebody's going to have an understanding better than you think. Pentacles here. And then we also have the three of cups on the bottom. Threes were coming out for group two. Maybe, hell, maybe you're drawn to all three groups. What's new vision? Can we get clarity card for new vision? Visions of past lives. New visions of past lives and the people around you, group three. The five of swords and the high priestess. A new vision of those. Okay, hold on. Let me Google something real quick. Let me Google it, y'all, because I have to. I have to Google a lot of stuff. I'm not scared to admit it. Five of swords. And then I'm going to have to go find something to eat. Turns up when you've had a falling out, disagreement, or conflict, and you are walking away with a sense of sadness or loss. <laughs> Maybe you're realizing that that wasn't really a loss. Thing that you had to walk away from with from that disagreement or conflict right it also talks denotes about self-sabotaging or underhanded behavior and deception and lack of communication so having a new vision i feel like i want another card though what's the tiny deck i didn't say what you think i said i said deck like card deck okay The Empress. The Empress and the High Priestess. You are very highly, highly spiritual, highly intuitive in this lifetime and the last past lifetime. 
Can we get more clarity for the Five of Swords here, though? Spiritual entrepreneur, I said, heard. Knight of Wands. So this was a masculine figure, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That you shared this conflict it with. Maybe you're an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, though. Validation for somebody here. This card's sticking out. What is that? Ace of Swords. Yeah, some kind of truth. Some kind of truth of the matter. All right, what about the letting go? What are they letting go? There's water on that card from letting go. So, a King of Cups. I was about to say it's an emotional kind of thing. And then we have the Six of Cups here. This is crossing you. Giving and taking. <clears throat> focusing your attention somewhere else, Group 3. Focusing on... The littles in your family instead of companionship or whatever, you know. <laughs> Eight of Cups. I saw this while ago. So again, you turned away, you walked away. It's a situation that you're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to let go because there's no changing. It's I think that's what you do, or that's what it is, group three. You're coming to terms with that situation here. You're having these new inventive ideas and dreaming a better life and a better world for your for your future and your your uh family around you you're you're dreaming of creating that okay and you're very capable of this because in a past life you were a very very significant a very powerful you know healer or shaman whatever resonates for you think back is there any has there ever been any talk about this kind of thing in in your family um oh yeah great grandma she you know she always knew things we don't know how she knew them but she knew them and we we listened to her you know so like that's you that's how you're going to be in this life but the difference between them and you is you're going to be vocal about it and you're not going to be scared and you know some maybe not but you know the majority of people like they've been conditioned to believe that it's not okay to have these gifts and abilities and, and to practice this sort of thing. But it is in every aspect, okay? It's in your roots. It's in your blood. It is what you came back here to do. Three of Cups on the bottom again. <clears throat> I feel like pulling a card from over here. Six of Cups again. You've got the Six of Cups twice. And these are kids. So let me look up the Six of Cups. Because I don't know the actual book meanings on these. Okay. I just get the gist of it. I get the gist. And I'm, mostly I read off the pictures. It invites you to get in touch with your inner child and experience the fun, freedom, and innocence that comes with being a young child again. It can also represent generosity, naive happiness, and childhood. Like, I, I'm not afraid to admit. I'm a little naive sometimes. No, okay, I'm a lot naive. But you know what? Also, that's like a label for my Aries. And I didn't even know that. I'm an Aries son. And that's part of my innocence and my na na naivety. Innocence and nostalgia when it is in the upright position. So there's also letting go of something that... Letting go and being playful. Letting go and getting in touch with your inner child and being silly and goofy, right? Running around barefoot and making mud pies or whatever it is. But also maybe there's just something that happened in childhood that you're letting go of, group three. Something that's very enlightening for you. Something that's going to come in really fast. And let's get some more messages here. That's too many. I feel like maybe that one wanted to come out. Green Terra. The Buddha of enlightened action. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Both those cards we're talking about. And look. Ooh. Enlightening. And then enlightened action. My soul informs me. And my soul informs my every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. You know what? I, I strongly feel like those are... For you as well so we're going to read these and then we're going to close it out okay <clears throat> mary of nazareth the mother of god i am blessed my courage gives birth to the divine lilith the first woman i am the voice of my body and soul i choose the life that i desire to live these are also affirmations that you could write down or say out loud three six nine times a day okay oh look you're 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 becoming anchored in love group three Sarah La Kali, Queen of the Outsiders. 
I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. Not being afraid to be an outsider. Not being afraid to do things differently. This is your creative flow. You're like, wow. Because I personally have always been against the grain. I don't follow trends. I never have. But I felt extremely uncomfortable in trying to be my unique self because I was conditioned to believe that I was less than and it wasn't worth being, you know, like I'm, I'm a fucking weirdo, okay? Like I, I let my freak flag fly and I'm, I'm very playful and energetic and childish too. That's what you call as childish and it's fun and I'm young at heart and I'm not ashamed to admit it anymore. I'm not scared to be silly and goofy and ha ha ha. <clears throat> And so I feel like that's another step here, you know, another path that you're going into is that playful, fun, creative stuff. Yamoha, the goddess of all that flows. I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. We mentioned giving birth to something earlier. And Pope Joan, the point of possibilities. The possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless. I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire. I am the voice of my mind, body, and soul. Because I choose the life that I desire. What's on the bottom of the deck? Ooh, Joan of Arc, the warrior of light. I have a still like faith in myself. The angel armor me. The angels armor me with conviction. Have faith in yourself. All right, let's get some. I said we're going to end it at that, but I need to get you some advice cards here too. If the reading has made sense or resonated with you in some way, greatly appreciated that you hit like and subscribe because it helps me get further out there. Look at that, you're clear audience. There's mental and emotional, physical healing here. That's the number three again, because you're healing your heart. You're becoming anchored in, uh, anchored in love and unconditional love. Her heart is ignited there too. <laughs> Creative energy here, group three. Meditation for creativity. open to receiving mermaid energy coming through here too and i think these two as well on the bottom of the deck intuitive yeah that's that high priestess energy coming through here how can you help someone this week and work on the causal soul star and earth star chakra so the causal and soul star are above the crown chakra and the earth star chakra is below the root chakra one more card because there's three here and only two here heal your solar plexus yeah heal that con the so you can have confidence in following what your soul is calling you to do. <clears throat> all right, that's all I have for you, group three. Love and light.